How is it going everyone? I'm very excited. We're going to take a look at what's new in tvOS 11. Everyone's been talking about watchOS and iOS and even macOS, but what about tvOS? Tim Cook gave it merely two seconds on stage at WWDC, so we're going to go ahead and show him or show you what he didn't show you. So first up, we're going to look into settings and we have this option for appearance. In the past, we had light and dark as options. Fantastic, love that nice dark mode. Now we have this new option called automatic, which using your location, it'll automatically change between light mode and dark mode based on your location and the sunset. Really, really cool and to go between those two. Also, if we now go into iCloud and jump down, we have an option for home screen sync. It does exactly what you think it does. Any Apple TV that you sign into with your Apple ID, you can actually sync the home screens on. That includes adding any applications that you didn't have as well as their layout. So if I move music to this lower left hand side here, that'll happen in any other Apple TVs you have. Here is another unreported huge change for me at least, and that is a whole new computer app on tvOS. So this is what your movies now look like, a really cool new list based on genre, recently added, or just an entire list. And your TV shows are just the same. So again, has your recently added to so your newest stuff right here up on top. And if you jump into any of those, you got this option to play the next episode that you haven't watched, as well as going through the entire list. You can see there's check marks on what you've watched and haven't watched. And there's even a related list of other shows that are yours that you can jump into that are similar to what you just finished. Another one that is absolutely awesome awesome, at least for me, is that is the automatic recognition of AirPods on your Apple TV. That's right, before every time you would add AirPods to your phone, it would automatically show up on your Apple Watch, your iPad, your Mac, everything, except your Apple TV. But now if you go into audio output, you'll see AirPods automatically show up if you have them added to any of your other devices with your same iCloud account. And you can choose between that as well in the drop down menu of a TV show. So if I jump back to that computer application, go into a new episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine, we're gonna resume at playing there, and if I pull down from the top like I always would in the past, I can jump over to audio. Now under speaker, I have the option to choose between living room, which is just my Apple TV standard audio output, or Andrew's AirPods, and now listen over Bluetooth audio over the AirPods without waking anyone else up in the middle of the night. The only other big thing to happen with tvOS is the addition of Amazon Prime and Prime Video coming very, very soon. Tim Cook teased a lot of new features for tvOS coming later this year, but until now, what do you think of these small but really nice features for tvOS? Let us know down in the comments, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, till next time. It's Andrew for IDB.